السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ گڈ آفٹر نون ٹو آل کہ ان ٹو ڈے لیکچر ان چیپٹر نمبر سکس وی ول کور ریسرچ اوکے دیز آر دا کنٹینٹس آف دا چیپٹرس اینڈ دا فرسٹ ٹاپک وی ول کور ریسرچ ڈیزائن اینڈ اٹس پرپز اوکے سو بیسیکلی واٹ از دا ریسرچ ڈیزائن According to this uh, slide, we also can read here, is a blueprint for the collection, measurement, analysis of the data. Yes, basically, we also can say the planning to verify our hypothesis, okay? To planning the data, to collect the data, okay? To make the platform, how to verify our research questions, how to verify to our hypothesis, okay? So this is, about this is called research designs more to go uh, more sophisticated and rigorous the research design in the greater the time cost and others yeah and the second uh, second objective of the research designs in a uh, it is helping us to manage our resources it is also helping us manage our time and as well as giving us a reliable rigorous method to validate to collect the data to validate the, our research questions okay uh, so as earlier i explained you know our research should start always start from the question you know okay for that questions we uh, explain that questions into the introduction part okay the research problem why we are uh, how to solve this question how to find the answer of this question we also verified and support from the literature we also propose the framework and hypothesis or with align with our research question now the part is how to verify the uh, research questions how to you know this is the main core core chapter to collect the data or maybe the uh, to verify the research questions okay in the last sentence it is therefore relevant to ask on self at every choice point benefit that result from a more sophisticated design to ensure accuracy so see this one a uh, the main point here so it's helping us means research design helping us accuracy confidence okay we are conducting our research in right way this confidence will get us from the research design okay general generalizability and so on with the large investment of resources anyway basically this is the research design uh, you know the process the steps the content must be present in the research design number one what is the purpose of your study you must know about the purpose of your study okay extent of res researcher interferences okay you must know researcher interferences okay and the study setting and the research strategy okay measurement and the, the other part we will discuss in the second part of the chapter 6 first okay let us discuss the purpose of the study we also can say mean the type of what are going to explore by the way purpose of your study suppose uh, nature of your study what is the nature of your study we also can say what uh, what is the type of your research okay so suppose uh, in case of our if our research is explorative suppose explorative we are already we know when not much is known about the situation at hand or no information available on how similar problem or research issues have been solved in the past this is a okay example for for example a service provider want to know why his customer are switching to other service provider so he will explore this is a research question na? this is a research question okay on basis of this research question our study will be exploratory exploratory research okay the another research type is maybe descriptive research suppose yeah, this is the definition of descriptive research but Uh, undertaken in order to certain able to describe the characteristics of variable of interest in the situation by the way we already discussed the types in chapter 
already we discussed you know i'm repeating again for your better understanding okay how about the other groups where where are the other members samini where are the other groups i cannot see them can you hear me yes doctor Ye yes doctor okay how about the group's member? I cannot see them. Uh, they are they are in class, but I think they didn't open the camera. It's when they are okay. They are not taking uh, seriously. They must be active to their lecture and they must participate in today lectures. Okay, so don't get for granted, please. This is my request to group number four. Okay. Sir? Yes. Yeah, please. And the and other uh, means. Sir, uh, sir, if I open the camera means I can't hear what you say. That's why I close the camera. But I can hear you. Okay, no problem. But you should be around when I'll ask, when I I will ask you the question. Okay. So find a solution. Rather give me a complaint because this is your research questions. I'm giving you. Rather give me a complaint. Find a solution of your problem. You are a research student. Okay, Priya. Good. I think you got it. Anyway, anyway, uh, the example. This is a purely example to understand the descriptive study. A bank manager wants to have a profile of individual who have loan payments outstanding for the six months and more. This is a one of the research questions posed. It would include detail of their average age earnings, nature of occupation, okay, uh, full-time, part-time, employment status, and so many more. This might help him to elicit further information or decide right away on the types of individual who would be made ineligible for the loans in the future. So, so he wanted to give the loan, he wanted to give the loan to a person for the person, he must describe the person. He must describe the terms and condition of the loan. Okay, explain. So this uh, this this is a you know very suitable example for the descriptive study. Okay, might be these 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 variables are related with the loan. Okay, and the person must fulfill the requirement for the loan. Okay, if he cannot fulfill the uh, requirement for the loan, we cannot. They cannot give loan to them. Okay. Another study type. Hypothesis testing. By the way, we also can say uh, correlational or the causal study. Further, this is another other type of research. Number one is the correlation study. Number two is the causal study. Correlation study. Uh, I think you people must give me answer because I already taught you. I already taught you type of the research, right? Okay, correlation study. Maybe the correlation between two factors, the relationship between two factors. The example here. See, a manager wants to know if sale of company relates to the advertising budget. Okay, I mean, we spend so much budget for the advertisement, advertisement, our sale will increase or not. This is the what is the correlation between two? Okay, this is a correlation. Okay, cause and effect study. And this is a third, fourth type of the study. A researcher conducted established cause and effect relationship among, okay, one a variable is increasing, other variable is decreasing. It's been cause and effect. Example here, a marketing managers want to know if sale of company will increase, if increase the advertising budget. Before he check what the relationship between. There is any relationship between Relationship, uh, I mean, in, in this example, try to understand. In this example, he just check the relationship. Any relationship between advertisement or advertisement or sales. If I do, if I do the advertising, my sale will sale increase or decrease. Okay, okay. If there is a relationship, then we can go for the cause and effect. Okay, if sale increase, the advertisement budget also increase. Suppose one more example I'm giving you, uh, you know, 
the sale of ice in the uh, winter season increase or will decrease? Priya, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, give me answer. The sale of ice will increase in wind in season in uh, in season of winter or decrease will decrease. Understand? So can you repeat again? I can't hear. Okay, okay. I, my, my question is, my question is, the sale of ice cream will be increased in summer or will decrease in summer season? Uh, increase, sir. Why? Why, why don't we or demand? Yes, demand increase. Okay. How about the how about the you know in the one more example? I'm giving you one more example. There is any relationship between the rain and the uh, internet speed? Priya, no, this one. Uh, yes, Samini, Samini. Yes. Samini. Samini. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, doctor. How? Oh. Um, may, uh, because the rain, when it is uh, cold, so the demand for the ice cream will be decreased. Oh. Asking for internet and the rain. Ah uh, yes. Internet, internet, mobile, mobile data, mobile internet. Mobile uh, internet. Yes. Is there any relationship between the mobile internet and the rain? Yes, because and the rain. the connection will be uh, disrupt or will be disconnect maybe. This is also cause and effect. Okay, we covered, you must, okay, you know, in the research design, when you are going to write the research design, you first, you first tell about your study type. What is your nature of your study? You know, your study is exploratory, descriptive, causal, or relational. Okay, you must write number one point. Number two, number two point is already discussed. Extent of researcher interferences. Interference, interference, okay. Mean intervention. Interference mean intervention. Basically, uh, to which the study is manipulated and controlled by the researcher, minimal interferences, no manipulations. Okay, let's discuss the whole phenomena with the example. This one, this whole phenomena discussed, uh, discussed with examples. See this one excessive interferences. Mean intervention, intervention of researcher. Mean you, you are research in your product. You are researcher. You, you will be a researcher in your research product, right? Research project. Okay, this is the extent of research interferences with the study. The definitions, okay, here. Here, here, here. See, basically, you must read this one. The extent of interferences mean intervention by the researcher with the formal flow of work at the workplace has a direct bearing mean influence or impact on the whether the study undertaken as is causal or the correlation. Okay, it means how many percentage or how many intervention, how much your intervention in, in your research or maybe how, how much your involvement 
in your research. Okay, your involvement. We are talking about your involvement. Suppose whether you are taking correlational research or whether you are taking causal research. Let's see, discuss one by one. The correlation study is conducted in the natural environment of the organization with minimum interferences by the researcher with the normal flow of the work. Number one, in this type, correlational type, correlational research type, okay, the researcher has a minimum interferences, interference, interference, okay. Let's how example discuss, suppose, uh, see, study conducted to establish cause and effect relationship, the researcher tries to manipulate. And the, number one here, in the correlational research, correlational research, the researcher has minimum interference. And but on the other side, cause and effect, the researcher has more interference. How? Let's discuss number one. There are the three types of interference. We also can see now this one. You can see minimum interference. Can you see? Narish, Narish. Uh, yes, sir. You, I can see. You can see this slide, right? Yes, sir. Okay. See, minimum interference, moderate interference, and the excessive interference. Okay. Let's discuss with example one by one. Okay. Here. Number one, number one is minimum interference. How? Example. Can you read this example? Uh, I want to read, sir. You cannot read? Can, can, sir. Read, please. Yeah. The hospital administrator want to examine uh, the relationship between the perceived emotional support in the system and the stress experienced by the nursing staff in other words she want to do uh, okay okay she want to do causal or correlation study okay yeah. this is the question okay then read the second paragraph the researcher will collect data from the nurses throughout the questionnaire yeah, through survey okay to indicate how much emotional support they get in the hospital and to what the extent they experience stress. The mm -hmm. correlating the two variables, the answer is found. In the case, beyond the administrating, administrating a questionnaire to, to the nurses, the best research, researchers, researcher has not interacted with the normal activity in the hospital. Yes, it means the simple, he just check the relationship just he distribute the questionnaire and verify okay how emotional support is related with stress two variables now two variables okay in this case emotional support is dv or iv which one is iv and which one is dv do you know which one is independent variable and which one is dependent variable This one is the independent variable, right? This one, emotional support. Understand? This one is uh, emotional support is independent variable. And the stress, you know, the stress, this one, stress is a de dependent variable. He simply asked for the question. He distributed the question and check the answer. Here is, here maybe, uh, you know, the researcher don't have so much intervention in the research involvement very less involvement simple distribute the questionnaire and get the answer very simple let's discuss the further further type second type moderate inter interference okay okay samini let's read this one if the researcher wants to establish a casual connection between the emotional support in the hospital and stress or yes. wants to yes. or wants to demonstrate that if the nurses had emotional support this indeed would cause them to experience less stress hmm. okay. to test the cause and effect relationship 
the researcher will measure the stress currently experienced by the nurses in three wards in the hospital and then uh, deliberately man manipulate the extent of emotional support, support given to the three group of nurses in the three wards for a week and measure the amount of stress at the end of the period. Okay. Now he has an intervention. See, let's discuss his interventions. Read. Samini, read please. Group one. What he did. For, for group one, the researcher will ensure that a number of lab technicians and doctor help and comfort the nurses when they face stressful yes. events. For for a second group of nurses in another ward, the researcher might arrange for them only a moderate amount of emotional support and employing only the lab technicians and excluding doctors. Yeah, in first, doctor and technician both included. Second one, only technician included. And third one? Please. The third ward might operate without any emotional support. Support? No. See, read here. This, this is an experiment. If, if, yes. the, if the experimenter's theory is correct, then the reduction in the stress levels before and after the one week period should be greater for the nurses in the first ward, moderate for those in the second ward, and um, nil for the. And nil, nil, no, no, no for the nurses in the third ward. No for the nurses in the third ward. We find, we find that not only does the researcher collect data from nurses on their experience stress at two different points in time, but also manipulated the normal course of events by uh, deliberately changing the amount of emotional support received by the nurses in two ward while leaving things in the third ward unchanged. Researcher yeah, the had, researcher had interfere more than minimally. Minimally, yes. You know, before in the first first term, minimum minimum interference, he just collect the data and report the result. Okay, there is a relationship. But here he did the you know he did the uh, you know practical, empirical you know. Here, here, experiment. Sorry, I want to say experiment. He did the experiment. Okay, first. First group, different emotional stability, maybe technician and doctor, okay, uh, to motivate the nurses, okay, there is no stress, please handle this thing, handle this thing, then they have less stress. And the second group, only technician, they have more stress. And the third one, third one has more stress because no, they don't have emotional stability, right? So here, also, inter, inter, interventions, okay, moderate intervention, let's see. Excessive, more, let's see here, more, the third type of the researcher interferences, interference, third. Okay, let's read the other, other, the fourth, fourth member, where is your fourth member? Where is your fourth member? Sir, so, Noor, Izati and Wafa not joined the class because of some emergency. I just saw the beginning of the lecture. I saw four members from your group, right? Uh, another one, Aziza to Farisha. Yeah, where is he? Can Can you hear me? No. Okay, Priya, let's read this one. Uh, if the researcher feels after conducting the previous experiments mm -hmm. that the results may not be valid since other external factor meet at influence the stress level experienced by the nurses. Yes. Okay. Read, read. For example. For example, during that uh, particular experimental week, the nurse is on or more what may not have experienced high levels of stress because there were no uh, serious illness or deaths in the what. Hence, the emotional support received may not be related to the level of stresses experiments. Experience, yes. Then, 
excessive interference. Let's read this one, please. The researcher want to make sure that such external factor that may affect the cause and effect relationship are controlled. Controlling the external factors, the researcher may take three group of medical students, put them in different rooms, and control all of them with the same stressful task. For example, he may ask them to describe in detail the surgical producer in performing surgery on the patient who has not respond uh, and keep asking them with more and more questions. Then more questions. Okay. Then here. Aldo. Although all exposed to the same in intensive questioning on group meet get help from a doctor who voluntarily offer clarification and help when students stumble. In okay. the second group, a doctor meet be nearby by meet offer clarification and help only if the group if the seek group it. Seek it. In okay. the third group, there is no doctor present and no help is available. Available. Then, see here, in this example, not only is the support manipulated, but even the setting in which this experiment is conducted is artificial. Okay, in, in as much as the researcher has taken the subject. Okay, before, you know, that one was the real one. The nurses have uh, some, some stressful. No. He manipulating even he choose the new uh, new you know new population new student you know see we can say in this example not only the support manipulated support mean the, the students okay he replaced the nurses with students and check the stress level with the difference uh, different scenarios okay this is the excessive interventions so so that the extent of researcher interference would depend on the web study is correlation of the causal. Okay, we already saw, we already uh, covered in the last slide. Most organizational problems seldom call for a causal study, except in some markets such areas. Yeah, something. Okay, let's discuss the other one. It is, okay, this is clear. This slide is clear or not? Is it clear? The extent of researcher interference. Okay. The third one, see here, 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 see. We covered this one, first part. Now we covered second part. Now we are moving to the third part, study setting. Okay, what is the study setting? Okay, here, see. Mean study setting, study can be conducted in two, you know, contrived and the non contrived. Okay, contrived or non contrived. Let's see, discuss from here. This is more better from here. Here, study setting mean contract artificial or mean the non contract usual or the normal setting for the research. Mean, uh, mean the contrived mean artificial setting for research and non contrived mean normal or the usual natural setting for the research. Let's discuss here. Mean, so there is a two major, major type, okay, correlation study. For the correlation study are conducted in con non contrived setting, mean normal setting. It means correlation study always conducted in. Wait, see here. Correlation study always conducted in, conducted in, okay, normal setting, non contrived, or might be we can say. Normal setting or non contrived setting, where most causal study are done in contrived artificial setting. We already discussed in the last researcher interferences. See, he artificially changed the respondent, okay, and verify the concept. Understand? I hope you got it. Ba basically, the our discussion of uh, main topic, our discussion of main topic is correlational and the causal research, okay, causal research. For this one, maybe the natural environment, always natural environment. For the other one, the causal research, always artificial environment. 
Okay, correlation, uh, correlation study done in organization are also called field studies. Yes, this is also called field studies as well. Let's see, discuss. Yeah. Okay, then study is conducted to establish cause and effect relationship using the same natural environment in the which employees normally function are called field experiment. Okay, uh, they said we still can conduct cause and effect, mean causal causal study in natural environment also, but it will called field experience. Okay, we will discuss. I will discuss you about uh, you know field study, field experiment, experiment done to establish cause and effect relationship in the contrived. You know, artificial contrived mean artificial environment and strictly controlled are called bell lab experience. Basically, three basic types are the field and the field exper experiments and the lab experiments. Let's discuss one by one. We already see, see field. Field experiment and the lab experiment with example. Let's discuss first field study. Number one, field study with example. Uh, these um, examples will help you a lot, really. Okay, please focus. Okay, who will read this one? Well, I think, uh, by the way, my dear student, I want to say one thing. Okay, then, uh, Pelani, I'll just read this example. A bank manager. A bank manager wants to analyze the relationship between interest rate and bank deposit patterns of clients. The the researcher tries to co correlate the two by looking at deposit into deposits into different kinds of accounts, such as savings, certificates of deposit, and interest bearing checking accounts as interest rates change. This is a field study where the bank manager has taken the balance in various types of accounts and correlated linked them to the changes in interest rate rates. Okay. The researcher here is done in the no contrived setting with no inferences with the normal work routine, right? This is the finding. Got it? This is a field survey. Simple, distribute the questions here, or maybe get the experience. Just get, uh, get the uh, simple, uh, simple and related information. And the field experience, the third one. Oh, sorry, second one. Field experience. Pelani, please read this one. The black. The, the bank manager now wants to determine the cause and effect relationship between wait wait wait, wait. Okay. I'm not asking you please wait. <laughs> okay just give chance to the nourish okay nourish can you hear me oh, hello sir yeah please read this one this example this is uh, belong to field experience Okay, please. For for one week only, he advertised the annual rate for new certificate of the deposit received during the that week. The interest rate will be nine percentage in one branch, eight percentage in from another. Here, 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 from here, from here. Okay, sir. The, the bank, bank the bank manager now wants to determine the cost and effect relationship between the interest rate and the in in documents. In the in documents, yeah, it yeah. Offers, incentives mean incentives. Uh, incentive. It's offered to clients to save and and deposit money in the bank. The researcher uh, select the four branches within the sixteen kilometer radius uh, for, yes. for the experiment. Okay. Then for on for on, for on week only. He advertised the annual rate for new certificate of the deposit received during that week. The interest rate will be 90%, 9% in yes. one branch. 
eight yes. percent another, and ten percent in the in the fourth branch, the interest rate remains unchanged at five percent. Within the week, the researcher will be will will able to determine the effect effect if any of interest rates on the deposit mobilization. Okay, see here. Here, here, read, read this one. The conclusion. This is the conclusion. This example will will be a field experiment since nothing but the interest rate is manipulated with all activity occurring in the normal and the natural world experiment. Hopefully, all four branches chosen will be compatible in the size, number of the depositors, deposit patterns, and the like. So that the so that the interest savings relationship are influenced by some third factor. Yes, see, listen. I'm also, you know, we always do the, you know, the field experiment. Like how field experiment? If I want to buy the, you know, for uh, stand stand for this mobile. Okay, I just go on the, you know, website and so from the Shopee, how much the price? And how much the variety available for this mobile? Okay, then I also search on the Lizada as well. There are the two options. Then compare which one is better for me. This is also field experiment, huh? Okay. Suppose I'm giving you one more example. If you want to buy a car, so what what you will do? Uh, the Priya. I'm giving you one scenario. You want to buy a car. Obviously, you will go for the available brands in the market. Might be Proton, okay, Paradua, many brands, la, Toyota, Honda, and you will see the their features, right? And which feature is more, you know, uh, the reasonable price have reasonable price, and the more um, or more uh, you know related or link with your choice, la. Then you will prefer this one. This is also for the field experiment. Okay, let's discuss the last type of the lab experiment. Lab experiment. See. Priya, can you read this one? Lab experiment. Yes, sir. Can. Okay, please. To be sure, to be sure about the true relationship between the interest rate and deposits, hmm. the researcher could create an article environment Arti by choosing. Artificial. Artificial environment. Artificial environment. Yes. Uh, by choosing, for instance, 40 students who are all business yes. major in their yeah, final year of study and in the same age. The researcher splits the students into four groups and give each one of them a thousand dollars. Yes. Which they are told they meet by their needs or say for the future or both. Okay, read. The researcher offer them interest on what they save or following. 6% of saving for group 1, 8% of group 2, 9% of group 3, 1% of group 4. The old rate of interest here the researcher has pre created an artificial liability environment and has manipulated the interest rate for saving. He also chosen subject with the similar backgrounds. Yes. Then then what, what you understand? So they understand uh, you know very well about the interest rate. Okay, the differences and this is the lab experiment. And, and this one and also belong to the chemistry and uh, the pure science. Okay, they are doing the you know chemical testing, engineering testing in the lab. Also, the example of the lab experiment. Okay. Got it or not? See here. We already covered field experiment and see here. Natural setting, no manipulations. But here, natural setting, manipulation, some manipulation. But here, artificial setting and and 100% manipulations. Okay, this is the short keys. Let's discuss if no is your turn for the whole class. For the whole class. Number one, during the class. 
For each scenario, please indicate how the researcher should proceed with the following giving scenarios or giving reason. Number one, the purpose of study. I will give you the case study and where you will find, okay, that case study belong with exploratory, descriptive or hypothesis testing. Which type of the study? And the type of investigation, causal or the correlational? And the extent of the research interferences, minimum, moderate or excessive? And the setting, let's read this one. Scenario A and scenario B. Okay. And you will tell me in scenario one, the answer, the purpose of study, what is the purpose of study, type of investigation, extent of the researcher and the study setting. Please write, note down and read these scenarios. You have 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, everybody must give me answer in the group. Everybody must give me the answer in the group. Number one, the uh, group number four must give me answer before other groups. Okay, got it? Hello, sir. Yes, yes, please. So, so uh, every group on answer or each on everyone should have on answer? You know, uh, you may discuss with your group member, okay? Maybe you have a six group member. You can discuss, okay, what with the possible answer of this scenario one or scenario B. Okay, group number, group number four, I will ask you first before other groups. Okay, but every group must give me answer. Okay. Got it? You have 20 minutes. I will knock you again at uh, 340. 340, okay? Done.
Thank you. 